Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. In the last episode, we killed the final Lord boss thing. And, well, it brought us to opening the the doors to Gwyn. That was definitely nice. And uh, I gave you a promise of we need to go and fight the DLC bosses, and we do. Yeah, you might be wondering where I'm going. And you might be wondering, whoa, why did you start here? I'll give you exactly why. If you remember, Havel's door led right to the area where the Hydra is. And we're near high we're near that area. So why not use it? I mean that's exactly that's the exact reason why. That's the exact reason why. Um Now you might be wondering, how do we get the DLC? Because well, we rescued Dusk of Oil. We rescued the Dusk of Oil Seal, and we gotten the Broken Pendant. We've killed the we've killed the Hydra, and well, we've explored everywhere. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. There is a secret and really unknown way to get to this area. In fact, it's it's very it's definitely something. Also, I, I don't think I've ever talked about this. The Hydra doesn't respawn. I, I've never talked about this. this. The Hydra doesn't respawn. Um, yeah, no, it's completely 100% empty. This, this bitch empty yeet, indeed. Um, so we're gonna run over here. And while we're at it, we're gonna sing Despacito. I'm just joking. Despacito 2 announced. Um... We're just gonna walk. I, I, there's really no point in putting on that other ring just so that we can run in this area. There's exactly zero reason to. It's weird. I, I feel like I'm never able to, to use all of the, the Havel armor. Uh, so let's go talk to Desk of Ulysia, because she's over here, right? Right? Let's go hang out over her with, with her. Because we killed the gold golem and she was over here. Uh, what is that? And where is she? Uh, what is that? Where is she? That's the question I asked a few minutes ago. Uh, let's go examine it. Because it's definitely interesting. It's like a portal or something. Doesn't it? does and funny enough it's just a PNG <laughs> it's a PNG of something and it, and as you spin it spins yeah either way I like to examine it yeah it's much smaller in this cutscene and I wonder what it is uh oh my god it's one of those things from Dark Souls 3 Welp. <laughs> Welp. Welcome to the Sanctuary Guardian. Starting off... Not Guardian. Garden. Starting off the DLC with a shebang. I'm actually gonna level up because I have too many souls. <laughs> and we have a bunch of these souls, so I'll just use all of them. I mean, I might as well. Really? We are... That clips. Are you actually serious? I'll just use one. I don't even need to use two. I just need to use one. I will put this in. In vitality. So yeah. Starting off this DLC with a bang is definitely something. I don't know. Maybe we'll... Actually see a beginning area. Hmm. Maybe this hand thing comes from here. This is a nice, nice camera angle. Oh wait, it's the first boss of the DLC. Welcome to the Sanctuary Guardian. Yeah, no, the mistake I made earlier was not on purpose. Was on pur was not on purpose, but it, but it works. Uh, so Sanctuary Guardian is one of those bosses that is extremely, 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 extremely uh, aggressive for basically no reason. Oh, it reads really easy to kill. Pretty fast. Um, you can actually cut his tail off, uh, and his tail cut is 100% useful. It's one of the least impressive weapons. He's also really easy to kill. 
you get the Guardian Soul, and I don't know what the soul transforms into for boss weapons. It's one of the one, well, only, the only soul in the game I actually don't know what you can make it into. I know what every other soul in the game does. Except for this soul. I actually have no idea what you can make this into. And I will do some research. It's the one soul I have no idea what it does. Either way, with the first out of four bosses of the DLC dead. Sit down at this amazing bonfire and then use some more souls that we have. We have all of the boss souls. We're not going to end up using them because the boss weapons kind of suck. Uh, I'll put it in vitality. Well, let's go talk to this mushroom person because we can. Hello. So, she actually sells exactly what the Desk of Ula Seal sells. Thank you. I have, I have a feeling that she and Dusk of Ulysseal are the same person. Uh, she sells all, she sells five, uh, sorceries. That's it. That's it. Yep, that's really all you need to know about. And with that, you might think, oh, we must be done with this episode. No, what, no, no, we've already, it's been like, what, seven minutes or something? No, we got plenty, we got plenty of do. So, I'm going to run as fast as humanly possible through this area, because guess what? The Royal Wood sucks. Royal Wood. My least favorite area of this DLC. I don't like the Royal Wood. Okay, it's not that I don't like it, it's just because there's a bunch of enemies around here, and the, the majority of them do a lot of damage, and I don't like it! It's a big open forest, too. However, it leads to my... One of my favorite bosses in the game and I know I've said this a lot about some bosses but no this one is is honest to god one of my favorite and and I'm very excited to fight it I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna tell you the sex of it it's rude and messed up man so you might be wondering how we get to that other side of that because we need to get over there well that's a pretty good question and for someone who's never played the Dark Souls games you're pretty smart I'm joking, because a lot of people have played these games. Um, yeah, no, there's a bridge. There's, there's always a bridge. And that's a dragon. Oh, also, you can't do any damage to him. Yeah, no, you can't do anything to him. He's big, very strong. Uh, once you do that, also, look at that area down there. Isn't that interesting? Uh, once you do that, you can come over here. Uh, this is the exact path that you can go down. Crystal lizard here. They, they, I mean, if you got a few crystal lizards, you're fine. I've never examined this little area. I never knew that there was mist coming out of it. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, no. Just stay by the edges and you'll be fine. Like, and I mean that as... As I don't like the royal wood, so I'm telling you the honest truth. Just stay near the edges and you'll be fine. There's no embers throughout this air. There's no embers throughout this DLC. There's nothing of the sorts. There are, um, armor pieces. There are, uh, uh weapons. I'm not sure about the weapons part. Um, there are a lot of upgrade materials. Actually, you can get a blue titanite slab around here. There is a way to get a normal titanite slab. And there's another way to get Red Titan Slab, but that's way later in the DLC. And we're talking way later. I've never actually picked this item up, so what is it? Oh, it's just a soul. Well, uh, we actually made it to our destination. You see those guys? Those are not like the Stone Soldiers. Soul stone Soldiers before Moonlight Butterfly. Those guys are nothing like them. They are way harder. Either way, let's come down here. Lift it back up because it's an elevator. We always do that. Say hi to this amazing fog wall. Say hi to this corridor that des definitely doesn't lead to another elevator, which is a shortcut. And then come over here to the right. And say hi to Chester. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the pass. Yes. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land, but at least now there are two of us. So he, that, what happened to him happened to us. And guess what? He's not that nice, don't worry. So long. He uh, definitely gets what he deserves. 
And uh, we hit this amazing elevator up, and guess where this leads? Yes. It leads to a shortcut of the Royal Wood. It's exactly the opposite side. It's exa That's it. That's it. That it's just the opposite side. We've been over here before. It's, you know... But it's just the opposite side. This bonfire is really... Not bonfire. This elevator is really useful, actually. So, yeah. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.